In today's video, I want to introduce to you our brand new embroider machine, and that is the Tajima TMBR2. So here it is, like straight out of the crate. Okay, we just brought it in. We are about to set it up, hook it up with all sorts of accessories right now. So just like a little preview, okay, we got a specific thread that we're about to put on and a specialty hoop that we're gonna use also for our brand new Tajima. And before I get into kind of like the accessories that we're about to use, okay, uh, I do want to answer two big, big questions in our quest of buying a brand new embroider machine. So question number one that I want to answer is why did we choose a Tajima and specifically this model that we have here? And question number two that I want to answer is why didn't we go with another Recoma? So you can see here, all right, I do have my two workhorses on the side and I do want to answer why we didn't go with a Recoma, okay, because in reality, we could have probably bought almost two Recomas for the price of one. So I do want to get into the details of that, okay? Um, before I answer those questions, just real quick, okay? So we got the candle thread here. And actually, I'm going to load it up with all black threads, okay? So we got the black thread right here. And once we set it up, okay, I'm super excited to see how it runs and the quality of stitching, all right? But this is the black thread that we got here. And so our first project that we're gonna do with this machine, okay, it's gonna be nothing but black thread, at least for the next four months. So right here, we got 18 threads, all right? So we're gonna put 15 there and then we have three on standby. And then here, all right, here, what we got, of course, you already know if you follow this channel, all right, we do a lot of hats here. And of course, you know I had to get spanking brand new Gen 2s. So you can see right here. All right, of course, we got the good old American flag right there. And so we got two of these, all right? And one good thing about the Tajima and the Recomas, you can use the same hoops, all right? So all our mighty hoops that we have, they're interchangeable with our machine. This whole year has been all about researching. That was the biggest question we had here is kind of like which machine should we go to? So I do want to go into the details of how we came about choosing the Tajima. So let's go ahead. Let me answer question number one is why did we go with a Tajima? This year I went to a trade show. I got to see all the big name machines. Okay. I saw them all in action. When I saw the Tajima, okay running at top speed 3d puff on hats okay i was like mesmerized at the not only the speed the quality but the sound like the way it purred it sounded very very smooth just like a nice humming all right with the speed going super super fast quality everything was dialed in clean that was like the initial portion where i was like hey you know, my eyes were on that machine right there. And throughout the years, I visited a good handful of embroidery shops. And the ones that run Tajima, they have nothing but good things to say about it. So just as a referral and as a visual, I was always kind of locked in with Tajima. And especially, I'm always visiting lids. I'm always checking out new drops, new hats, new hat styles. And of course, you always see the Tajima parked inside the lids. And of course, there's a reason why they're going with that brand, right? So really a uh, big reason, just seeing it in action, references, recommendations with other shops. And another big thing, like I said earlier, is it's just compatible with a lot of hoops that I already have. So you already know I got pretty much every mighty hoop you can think of. And it only makes sense since it, they're interchangeable with the Recomas and the Tajimas. The machine it comes with a technician so a technician is going to come in he's going to make sure the machine is nice and dialed in pretty much breaks down the whole machine lets you know you know uh, all its capabilities everything that it can do so i'm excited to learn from somebody right the professionals from tajima they're going to come down here they're going to walk us through the control panel and just kind of like all the small little details that you could think of for an embroider machine all right because even though a lot of the embroidery machines are similar, of course, there's always different little tricks here and there that, you know, 
it's always good to get information from. So really choosing Tajima, okay? Because that was the big question, right? Really, um, recommendation-wise, it's it was it's always been either Baradin or Tajima, right? Those are the two big ones there. But me already having a lot of the accessories um, that's kind of compatible, kind of lean me towards the Tajima. Now, Tajima, like on the single heads, really they have like three different models, all right? So let me talk about why I chose this specific model here. So really you have, um, let's say like the most basic one, right? That doesn't have a lot of the newest features. That's the TMBP. That one pretty much is like the basic one, right? And then you have the second level one where it's this one, the TMBR. And the big thing here is the digital presser foot. And we're gonna work with 3D puff. Like that's our big thing, right? Two millimeter, three, four, six millimeter 3D foam. So the digital presser foot, it's gonna calculate and kind of control that presser foot, right? To us, that's like game changer right there. I'm like, that's my main thing. That's like what I'm super excited about. That's, that's, the main reason to go with the brand and to go with that specific model there and then there is another model on top of that and that comes with the digital presser foot and the automatic tension me personally i like to dial in my own tension especially when you understand how tension works there are specific designs that i work with that i know kind of like where that tension is supposed to be at all right so tension i have no problem with that bam we can control the tensions on that. So that's why we kind of stayed with the TMBR. So those are the three levels of the single head Tajima machines. So if you're doing research, you could kind of see like what separates uh, each machine. And it all depends what you need, okay? It all depends what you need and what's your budget. Now to answer question number two, why didn't I go with, with a Ricoma, right? I could have saved so much money going with a Ricoma. And of course I already have two Recomas, which, you know, they're still, they're still workhorses. They still cranking in jobs in day and night. All right. But really the reason why we didn't go with a Recoma this time, first of all, I want to see what's out there, right? I want to know when they say sky's the limit, I want to know where, where is that level at of embroidery, right? And sometimes you got to kind of get out of your comfort zone and see what else is out there, right? So I already know how far I can take my, my Recomas, right? I know what's, what's the limit. On the Recoma. So now it's time to, hey, let's see if there's a limit past that where we've been to, right? So that's kind of where I want to go. I want to take it and I want to be at the point where I can run a machine anywhere from 12 to 15 hours nonstop at the highest speed. We're going to test all that. We're going to see where exactly that sky's the limit of embroidery. So as I'm testing this brand new machine, if there's anything you want me to kind of highlight or kind of focus on, let me know in the comments. So I'm going to put down in the description uh, a lot of links so you could check out all the specific description. Definitely stay tuned because we're about to uh, revamp the studio here. I just bought some soundproof material, so we're going to soundproof the studio here. So on the next video, we're going to have everything set up. We're going to do our first initial run. And of course, I want to see this machine in action. All right. So I want to thank everybody for stopping by today. Any questions, any comments, leave it down below. See you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.